going on guys it's been a minute I haven't really posted much um, it's a beautiful day today so I decided to hop on the Grom go for a ride just came by my local airport just to watch some airplanes take off and land have some fun um, I haven't really filmed a lot or done a lot because I just haven't wanted to to be honest I don't know what I'm doing to this channel I mean I know what I want to do but we'll see how it continues and how it goes I have a lot of stuff that I've done to the S2000 a lot more stuff I want to do I blew the motor up in that thing December 23 so the motor's been gone it's been at the machine shop um, it's almost done I just gotta get my head gasket to them I had to order a comedic head gasket once that gets there I'll get it back and we'll throw it in so yeah, there'll be a lot of progress on that thing. You'll see videos of it for sure. The Forerunner, I've done a couple of things to it. Nothing crazy. I don't really know how much that thing's going to be in the channel. Maybe when I go camping or something. But other than that, just trying to enjoy life and have fun with everything. With everything that's going on in the world. I like to just disconnect and be, you know, not present. <laughs> it's It's stressful sometimes, so... What I want to do is just do more car stuff. That's can be stressful, but it definitely helps ease me out a lot. So um, I did watch James Pumphrey's video on speed, and that one really hit a chord with me. And I want to do more creative stuff, more car stuff, whatever it may be, short videos, anything like that, just little stuff. And I just want to try to be more creative with my life. And instead of sit at home and watch YouTube videos, I want to make YouTube videos and do that kind of stuff with my friends and just have fun that's what I want to do um so yeah just wanted to pop in say what's up maybe we'll go back to the house and check out the S2000 so that's what we'll do again I don't really know <laughs> how often I'm going to upload or what I'm going to upload or what I'm going to do it might be little stuff might be big stuff we'll see and we'll go from there but for now just take a day at a time and chill and hang out so watch my airplanes there's none right now, but it's just super beautiful out here. All right, guys. I'll talk to you later. All right, guys. <laughs> Welcome to the garage. Let me turn some lights on. Boop. So, this is where the S2000 lives. It's been a while since you guys have seen it, obviously. Uh, it's a lot different. There's no battery, there's no fuse box, no power steering box. Um, <laughs> nothing's in here, everything's gone. Uh, no ABS. Uh, first, we'll start over here. Or, first things first, the engine bay is gray. Uh, I took everything out, sanded it down, painted it gray because it goes with the white. Yes, the car isn't even red anymore. <laughs> the car is white. Um, <clears throat> it has a no good racing livery on it. I did that with the Red Bull. The rest is on the fenders, obviously. You got the sun, you got the bull, all my names of my car parts I have on there, blah, blah, blah. Under here, on the passenger side, we have my fuse box, power steering box. Um, all the power lines are hardwired down here. <clears throat> tuck kit is or not tuck kit I'm tucking everything myself everything in this car on this car is done by me except for building the motor everything I've done uh, so <laughs> I've cut extended some wires all that stuff right here I'm still working on um, got a Mishimoto aluminum radiator Mishimoto dual fans all that stuff's wired in it's all just tucked down there again hidden <laughs> And on this side, there's no coolant reservoir, and where the ABS system used to be, there's just two lines. So all that is gone, but I still retain the ABS system. So everything's down here. I still have functioning ABS. Uh, the only thing, this is for my side marker, the only thing is it just has different lines. So it's a tuck kit, so all this stuff is routed to all my brakes. Uh, this kit right here is made by a company called DC5 Creations in Florida. 
Super cool dude, super good products. I recommend them highly for this kit and another kit I'm gonna show you here in a second. <clears throat> my checklist of all my stuff I need to do. The interior, pretty much still the same. I got my Momo Monte Carlo wheel, checkered sports floor plate. I have my Buddy Club P1 bucket seat in there. So that's all fun stuff. Um, what else we got? My garage is kind of a mess right now. <laughs> random car parts everywhere. Got a JDM B16 head. Uh, random FK8 Type R wheel. I found it pick and pull for 50 bucks. Don't know how that was in there. It was in the trunk of a BMW. I just randomly opened the trunk of a BMW and it was in there. There we go. Got it. <laughs> uh, valve covers here. I'm going to paint that. Uh, this is the DC5 Creations AC Tech Kit. So again, DC5 Creations, dudes in Florida, super cool dude, super good pricing, everything's made in USA, um, awesome stuff. I highly recommend it. So this is gonna be for the AC Tech Kit. That also comes with a plate that is in here, uh, right there. So it's a nice CNC plate that all the AC lines are gonna hook up to. Everything's gonna go there, route straight behind the motor, tuck down and go to the compressor, everything's hidden. Super awesome stuff. What else? Uh, trunk in here. My battery, I have it routed to the back of the trunk in here. Um, just got the mil spec connectors, everything hooked up. Ground's hooked up, positive is not hooked up because the car is just sitting here, so. I'll hook that up once everything's in. Uh, just some random parts in here. I have Ballad Sports radiator hoses, hybrid racing coil pack in there. Uh, yeah, just parts everywhere. <laughs> AEM intake on the roof. So, that's kind of all the parts I have. Uh, I have some other stuff. Oh God, the mic. <laughs> I have some other stuff here and there, but that's the majority of it. Like, here's some random, just my side markers, new OEM side markers for it, the clear ones. Over here, I have a catalytic converter, which might go on, maybe not. OEM header, this I'm gonna take all the heat shielding off, I'm gonna cut all these tabs off of here, and I'm gonna wrap it in the heat wrap, whatever you wanna call it to make it look a lot better. Because OEM headers, I really like, they're good, they're good flowing. I just think they're the best header, so I'm gonna run that guy. Starter, intake manifold, all that stuff's gonna get cleaned up, put back on. Um, I have some innovative mounts, transmission mount, motor mounts, all that stuff right here. So yeah, there's all my stuff for the S2000 that will eventually one day get put back on here. Uh, I'm just waiting on the motor. Uh, everything again, like I said, I'm doing all this stuff myself. The only thing I'm not doing is the motor build. I've built motors before, I've done it before. It's been so long, I don't want to deal with it. <laughs> I trust my machine shop, I've known them for 15 plus years. I'd rather have them deal with it. Give me the motor, I'll put everything else on, go from there. The other thing, you guys might have just seen it a second before, um, what's going to be going on this eventually, probably not till everything's done, I run it, drive it, break it in, blah, blah, blah. Get everything good, copacetic, make sure everything's okay. Then, winter time comes around, uh, I'll probably start working on this project. I wanna enjoy it again for a while. So, once winter hits, I have found a full carb legal, because I live in California, Gretti AP1 turbo kit. Kind of not all OEM. Turbo, manifold, I have the downpipe back there is all, not OEM, uh, from Gretty. Turbo kit, manifold, downpipes, all from Gretty. Some of the piping is, some of the piping isn't. Um, it's a vibrant stuff, random piping. But the cool thing is, I actually have the Gretty eManage for it as well. Um, I know this is super old school technology. I'm really hoping that I can find somebody to tune it because I really want to run it. So I have that, and it comes with the Gretty eManage jumper harness. So because it is a piggyback system, so I still run my factory ECU and the eManage ECU. And, 
Yeah, so eventually that'll get put on there one day. For right now, it's just going to be getting it ready to drive it. Have fun again. Because again, it's been so long since I've driven this car. I miss it. I want to drive it. <laughs> so, yeah. I know that was a lot in a little bit of time. But, um, yeah, it's been a while since I've posted a video. So, again, I just want to make sure I show you guys, tell you guys what's going on. Um, yeah, this is the new garage, too. I moved. So, we'll uh, have some fun here and get this thing running soon. I'm hoping to get the motor back um, in about a week or so. So it's been six months. No, <laughs> it's been eight months since I blew the motor up. December, it's now August. So yeah, we'll hopefully have a motor in here by a couple weeks from now. Uh, fingers crossed. Again, um, thank you guys for tuning in, checking this out. We're gonna have some fun with it. Uh, I plan on driving it a lot, driving it hard, autocrossing, maybe gonna deal with it the track, see what's up. Until then, I guess watch me work on this thing. So we'll go from there. All right, guys. Later.